I'm here with Asia Wilson, the National Player of the Year on pretty much every platform. <laughs> How does it feel to like get all these accolades and you know you made your mark on South Carolina? Man, it is a blessing and an honor. Uh, I mean, I give it to my, my coaches and my teammates and of course my parents and just everyone that's helped me along this journey just become the person that I am. Um, it's great to win National Player of the Year, but I feel like it's just more of just me as a person. Uh, I give this to everyone that's kind of helped me through my journey. So this is a blessing and an honor. I know that you said last season you were about to give up because of your grandma's yeah. passing. What, what would you tell her now if she was standing right in front of you? Oh man, I, I don't even know if I would have words to say anything to her. I would just hug her and just thank her just for everything. She had she was my rock, my salvation. Like she was my all, she, my motivator. She kept me going. So this is all for her. Every game I play is in her honor. So I would just say thank you so much for all the sacrifices that she made for me. That's beautiful. Are there any other motivating factors that have come into your game? Um, ooh, definitely probably being defending national champs. Uh, we had that target on our back. Wait, uh -oh. y'all. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> That was okay. definitely a motivator. Of course, uh, everyone, you know, everyone's going to play their best game against us. So it's a, it was always competitive. So that was definitely a motivator. How did you balance school and basketball, especially in an elite program? Yeah, it's tough. It is tough. But we, we have great resources and great people around us that travel with us and really help us. Because we do miss class, but they really help us get back on track. And especially shout out to Xavier Shannon. That's our academic advisor. He's really academic helped us. Student athlete. <laughs> definitely. So he really helped us out through thick and thin and make sure that we're on track. The season didn't quite end the way you expected. Talk about that day. Yeah. Oh man, it was tough. It was tough. Um, my last time playing in college, uh, but at the same time, I love my teammates, and that's something that I really wanted them to make sure that they knew. What would you say to a freshman year you that you like Ooh. just coming straight into South Carolina, staying at home? Would you expect it? Like, what would you say to her? Oh man, I would just tell her just to enjoy the moment uh, without even knowing the accolades, without even knowing anything in front. Just say enjoy the moment because there have been times my friends freshman and sophomore year, I was so locked in that I missed out on the, on the moment. So I would really tell her just to enjoy the moment and embrace it. Uh, a lot of things are coming away, but just take it all in. Be a sponge, not a rock. That's beautiful. Okay. Rapid fire question. <laughs> Favorite move? Ooh. Let's say rapid fire. I have to say, ooh, over the left, the hook, the hook shot. Yeah, there. I'm left hand too. I'm right with you. <laughs> right shoulder, that yeah. <laughs> Favorite song? Favorite song? Ooh, ooh, pick it up by Dexter. We know you're a dancer, so I'm going to step to the side, break it down. Break it down. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Go, Asia. Hey, hey, hey. And what the feet doing? <laughs> and what the, hey, hey. Oh, oh, Y'all, she never ooh, stopped dancing ooh, again. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, <laughs> Thank you so no much. No problem.